eight anodes and seven cathodes. You'd weigh them out uh, as a group so that you would know, like you subtract the foil out and you know the exact capacity of your cell based off of uh, the active material and the coatings and whatnot. After you weigh them out, you can bring them over to the Z-Fold stacker. It's definitely produced better quality and of course quantity. We're gonna load the nests. You keep your anode tab to the left. And then when we add the cathodes to the nest, we'll keep the cathode tabs to the right. So that way they're on different sides um, of the final cell. I'm going to 3D print little test fixtures that slip down in these little channels here. It helps you align stuff. Once you have everything set up, um, is you just change how many stack layers. So set stacking layers, that basically is asking you how many anodes do you have. So we'll change that to eight since we have eight anodes, seven cathodes. So there will be an anode on the ends of the pouch cell when we're done. And then it says empty stack layer. That just gives us a little extra separator at the end so that we can fold it around, tape it up, make it look nice. All we have to do is hit start and it'll start doing its thing. So it's going to add one extra round of separator so we can fold around the cell. And at this point, lock itself down, rehome itself so that you're ready for the next one. At this point, you slide your razor blade along the straight edge, um, kind of hold the cell in place, and you press release to press plate to take material, and it releases the, uh, the hands that hold the cell in place. Grab with a pair of tweezers. Um, and this part can be tricky. Um, the way we fold the separator around, you just have to be very careful. Get you a piece of Kapton tape. Seal your pouch cell up you're ready to go. At this point, you would take it next door to the ultrasonic welder and you would weld tabs to it.